how you doing out there, Guitar Heroes? All right, uh, we're checking out some classic blues riffs today, and this one is going to be Rock Me Baby by B.B. King, 1964. All right, well, let's zoom in and check it out. Okay, B.B. King, Rock Me Baby. Uh, what, a, what a fabulous song. And this little riff is... is uh, is great too. Now we're generally speaking, we're in C. We're going to be in the C uh, pentatonic box here, the blues box. And so we're going to be at the eighth fret. Okay, and we're going to start on the G string on the eighth fret. And then we're going to hammer on the ninth fret. And then I'm going to jump over here to the little E, and I'm going to be on the same fret, the eighth fret. And then I'm going to jump up to the to the B string, and I'll be up here at the left. Let's try it from the top now. G string, B, 11 on the. I'm sorry, E, B at the 11. And then go back to the E on the first time around. So let's let's run through it here once. So back to the G. Eight nine E string B string on eleven G. Eight nine. Just a little variation in the pattern, same notes. Okay, so this this is a, a you know basically a three chord song uh, with a C. So if you're playing a, a C down here, and then we go to a F, I think, and then to a G. So in the background, you can move this little pattern into the next chord position. So let's, let me get this kind of in my head. Rock me baby Buy me all night long Rock me baby Like my bag ain't got no bone Okay, so we're going to C, F, and G. So if we're in the C at eight, and we're using the big E string, C up two to D, up two more to E, up one more to F. So so we could follow the F chord up here and do the exact same thing. And then we go back to the C. And then I can't on this guitar because I think we're supposed to be going up to 15 <laughs> to get the G. But I can get a G here. I can go to the third fret. And then back to the C, starting, starting over again with our progression. Okay, there you go, Rock Me Baby, a fabulous classic blues riff. Let's move on to our next blues riff. guitar players how about some classic blues riffs John Lee Hooker 1960 something <laughs> I can't remember what, what it is boom boom classic riff let's zoom in check it out okay John Lee Hooker boom boom like 1960 something I'm gonna say 61 but now I'm not, not I'm not 100% positive on that 
Okay, this riff is used a lot in different songs, but this is the first first place you'll see it this in this fashion. We're going to start with our. I'm going. I use my second finger here. It doesn't matter which one you use; just the one that works for you. I'm going to slide from the two to the four. And then I'm going to grab, with my first finger, I'm going to grab that third, third string, on the, or third fret on the beat. Then I'm going to put that second finger back down on the, on the fourth that I just came from. Slide. Open. Two on the D, and then and then off and then back on the D. And then I'm going to use the big E to to respond to that. They call this a call and response. E big E's open. On the third fret, G, and then I'm going to hit the open A, and then the E again, but I'm going to mute it. Open. Three. A, A wide open. Back to the E. Open. I think you can hear what he goes to the A, you know, so typically in the blues progression, right, E, A, and B, then the next time, it, the, the, the riff is the same, but instead of this, you might do it on the A string. Starting on the A, same pattern. Open D, back to the open A. Probably the one of the most famous blues riffs there are. Obviously, we love classic blues riffs. Okay, hope you got something out of this lesson. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.